Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video on gadgets and toys. Let's say you want to use your camera to do live streaming, maybe on YouTube or Facebook, but you're reluctant to spend the extra money on hardware like the Elgato Cam Link. I have a solution that might just work for you at no extra cost. Stay tuned. Can I really rely on a software workaround to do live streaming instead of hardware like the Elgato Cam Link when it comes to using my own camera? This question came to me when a good friend of mine running his own YouTube channel, Hookum Fishing with Matthew, wanted to run live streaming of either his Hero 7 Black or Nikon Z50. He did some research online and found the most adopted method that is to use a hardware like the Elgato Cam Link. That's when he came to me and seek my opinion on using such a device before deciding to spend on one. He also lamented on the shortage of stock of the Cam Link all across various online shopping platforms. This got me into thinking, is there a way to do it via software instead of hardware? Before I continue, let's compare the difference between using the hardware approach and the software approach. Using the hardware approach like the Cam Link, the video feed from the camera is being converted into a USB input, making the PC recognizing it as a video capturing device. In this way, you can use it for Skype, Zoom, Webex, and also live streaming, etc. Using my software approach, the solution only allows you to do live streaming, and you can't use it for anything else like Skype, Zoom, Webex. I'll be using my Nikon Z6 in this example. If you're using other cameras to test out my solution, you need to make sure that the camera is able to pump up live feed via the USB. So in my case, on the Z6, it's transmitting the live feed via the USB-C to the PC. Next, you'll need to download the two free apps, Digicam Control and OBS Studio. Now I'm going to show you a little bit of the test that I did to prove my solution. If you want to watch the whole video, please click on the link above. Yeah, so the basis of this live feed is just to test... Um, what you call that? Um, to test live streaming using my Nikon Z6 with no hardware, additional hardware, just using the USB-C connector. The quality of the video will definitely suffer using this software approach, but I think it's not so obvious when you are watching it on the phone. But I guess the sacrifice is acceptable considering that you are saving money on this instead of spending on the hardware. But if streaming at 1080p or higher is a must for you, then I think this solution might not work and you have to go for the hardware approach. Okay, now I will do a demo on how to get my live stream going. So the very first step is to launch your Digicam control. You look something like this. In the top left hand corner is where you're going to choose your camera to use. For me, it's Z6. And click on the LV Live View icon. Okay, so this is me directly from the live feed with my camera connect to the PC via the USB-C cable. So I'm going to use this live feed for my live streaming. First off, I will try to close off as many controls as I can find. At the moment, I can only find under this display show focus Control bar. I'm still unable to remove this bar on the right hand side. Maybe if you found it, you can tell me. Anyway, next I will need my OBS Studio. Under Source, click on the plus, add a window capture. I'm going to name it DigiCam Control. OK. And I'm going to select the EXE Live View that has my face in it. Okay. So when I click, OK, it's going to capture that window only and nothing else. And what you need to do now is to enlarge this box because all you want to show is the live feed and not the other controls around it. So I'm going to enlarge until everything go out of the way until I hide all the parts that I don't want seen. OK, so basically that's it. On my screen now, it looks like all the controls, borders, everything is being hidden. So this is what I will see on my live view. I'm going to put it one side. To start streaming, I need to go to settings, click on the stream, you can choose from various platforms. So for this example, I will just show you the YouTube settings. So click on YouTube, get stream key, and right at the bottom is encoder setup. You want to copy this stream key and paste it here and click OK. So it's now being set up. Before I go live, I just check that my settings are okay. When I start streaming on the OBS, at the bottom, when I click on start streaming, okay, you will see on the top right hand side, starting. Okay, and now I am live. For this tutorial, this is going to be not the real streaming. So before anyone sees it, I better cut it off. 
So to stop, I can just click stop streaming over here. And that's it. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. Using my Z6 to live stream without having to spend anything extra on hardware using a software workaround approach. And if this solution works for you, that means I will have saved you one to $200 and you don't have to wait for the delivery. You can do it right now. You can start streaming right now after this video. As usual, if you find this video informative or helpful in any way, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the like button and the bell button for future video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. This question came to me when a good friend of mine running his YouTube channel Hookum Fishing with Melf Matthew Hookum Fishing with Matthew Hookum Fishing with Matthew Hookum Fishing with Hookum Fishing Hookum Fishing Hookum Fishing Hookum Fishing with Matthew Hookum Fishing with Matthew, Hukum fishing with Matthew.